Well, you have no idea if I've been taking shots out here all day or not. I would never, ever tell you. Now, we are hanging out in Conroe. This place has been opened up for only one year, but already you can find these spirits all around our area. Or you can come on out to the distillery yourself and enjoy a great environment. Van Bracken never imagined he'd become a distiller, especially after spending more than 20 years working on oil rigs. During the downturn in October 2015, when oil hit about $35 a barrel, and they shut the rig down and laid everybody off, uh, my wife, I started talking to my wife about it and said, okay, what now? What do we do? This engineer noticed craft spirit distilleries getting more and more popular. All right, hang on a second. I'm a licensed mechanical engineer. I know how to cook, weld, brew beer, solder electronics, work on cars. I'm kind of handy, and if these guys can do it, I know I can. And just like that, Bartlett's Distillery was born. The crowds came next. We have a lot of those bottles at home. We love the people in Conroe, and it's just so neat to have something like this that we can go to. It's kind of a best kept secret. People who live here know it's here. People who aren't from here are finding out about it. Because when you're in Conroe, you've just got to raise a glass. Okay, one, two, three, Conroe! Conroe! And this distillery is open every Saturday from 11 to 7. Guys, coming up at 4, we've got a really fun story for you. We are actually taking you out on Lake Conroe. Don't worry, I went out there this morning before it started raining. I tried something involving a board and a motor. I'm still sore, but uh -oh. you're definitely going to have to watch, <laughs> watch at 4 o'clock for that story. Oh, I fell a couple of times. <laughs> but it's great video for all of you. And also, you can go to our website. It's abc13.com slash htx for all of our stories from right here in Conroe.